have a safe word. Pineapple! <laughs> Hello, welcome to this week's reading vlog. It's currently September 2nd. 2019 at 12 44 p.m today my mom ricardo and i are going to rib fest which is basically just like a festival where a bunch of like vendors come and they compete for who has the best ribs and you get to eat them and they're delicious we go every single year it's a grand old time so that's what we're doing today i honestly do not know how much reading is going to be done this week because tomorrow is my first day of teachers college so i don't know how much reading i'm gonna be able to actually do this week because i'll have readings for school and assignments all that jazz it's my first year in teachers college so i have no idea what to expect with that little nervous, little bit scared, gonna shit myself basically, but I'm sure it'll be fine. But I guess I can still tell you guys what I hope to read this week. Is it gonna happen? We don't know. I always have a physical book and an audiobook going at the same time. So my physical book for the week is Wilder Girls by Rory Power. I am 180 pages in. I'm liking it a lot more than I was last reading vlog. I think I was reading this but I was only like 75 pages in and I had no idea if I liked it or not. I couldn't decide. Definitely liking it now because the plot is established. Things are actually happening now. It's like a YA horror book about this disease called Tox that takes over this boarding school full of girls and it like changes their DNA to give them like mutations. It's like a body horror book. So far, enjoying it. The audiobook that I'm listening to this week is Caraval by Stephanie Garber. If you guys have watched my channel before, you know that my mom picks my TBR. So she read this book last week and decided to make a whole TBR based around it because she really wanted me to read it because she really enjoyed it. It's about these two sisters, Scarlett and Tella who want to participate in Caraval, which is kind of like a traveling circus game kind of thing. The challenge for this year is to find Tella because she's kidnapped and it's like the story of Scarlet trying to find Tella, yada yada yada. I am a hundred and... 35 pages in and I am loving it. It is really addictive. It's really immersive Like you pick it up and you can like picture everything that the author is writing and just the whole idea of Caraval Sounds so cool like a once a year traveling performance where like the audience gets to participate Yes, please sign me up except like also very scary because like the sister gets kidnapped and like she could die so that's no fun but I'm a big fan of Julian who is like I think the love interest but it, I thought that it was going to be Tella's love interest but it's Scarlett's love interest but he is very spoon worthy I can't tell if he's the bad guy or the good guy but I'm a fan anyways but my mom is just showering and then we're going to go pick up Ricardo and go to Ribfest so I'm probably going to read some more of Carval until that time. Probably the next clips will be from Ribfest and then I'm probably not gonna update because I need to go to bed early because my class starts at 8 a.m. tomorrow. So, wish me luck. <laughs> already and I'm not even there yet. It's 7 18 in the morning. Are you really nervous? Yes. I'm going to vomit and or shit myself. I am not <laughs> sure which yet. That's funny because when we took you to school for U of T, your first day, I can still tell you what you were wearing. And you just, I don't know if you were just so terrified that you just kind of put on that horrible fake smile. The one you have on right now. It's not a fake smile. <laughs> you were so much more confident. I was cute then. 
now what, I'm what just straight know? up annoying. <laughs> so everyone's gonna be like, I don't want to be your friend, and I'm gonna be like, I have no friends for two years, which is I already have no friends. So if I can just find one person to hang out with me, we're already upgraded. You're, you are going to be fine. I'm scared. You are going to do fantastically. Mom, pick me up. I'm scared. Day one complete. So basically today was just meeting our cohort groups, which I guess you could kind of call it your homeroom. And it's basically you have two advisors that you would go to if anything goes wrong with your placement because we're going to be placed in two different schools and we're gonna be learning how to teach there but we basically just met our instructors and the other 24 teacher candidates that you'll be working with and you just got to know them and they kind of told us a little bit about what else was going on so I'm definitely feeling a lot more confident the 25 people that are in my class or I guess 24 because I'm 25 are all really great I actually know three of the people that are in my cohort. Two of them I played basketball with and one of them I went to high school with. So that was pretty cool to have people that kind of recognized. I met three people that seem really great. So that's good. And then we had an assembly that was basically just like, hi, welcome to being a teacher. So that was all that was today. Tomorrow there's another assembly that's just the faculty welcoming us. So I think it went pretty well. I'm happy that it's over. I got a package from Amazon. I think I know what it is. So I'm going to open it. It might be more textbooks or it could be Serpent and Dove because Molly from Magical Molly sent me Serpent and Dove because she knew I was like really excited for it. So she was like, I'm gonna send it to you. So thank you so much if it's Serpent and Dove, Molly. Can we, can we put you? I'm gonna put you. We're gonna put you right there. Nope, we're not. Yes, no. Mm. Aha! Success. Okay, opening. I really hope it's Serpent and Dove and not a textbook because I don't want a textbook. <laughs> Serpent and Dove. I'm so happy. And it says, a gift note from Molly. You're the best and I love you endlessly. Magical Molly. Thank you, Molly. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. It's basically like a witch story, I guess you could call, but this girl runs away from her coven and then goes to the city that like banned witches. And then this guy is like hunting her, but then they fall in love. And it's like him trying to not hunt her but they're in love and I just <gasps> apparently it's very steamy and I'm just here for it I'm so excited for this so again thank you Molly I love you 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 everyone say happy birthday to the birthday boy <laughs> Turn up the lights, please. what is that it's a candle <laughs> he didn't have any birthday candles oh look that's a birthday cake <laughs> Candles. So you got a tea light. Oh, a tea light. <laughs> it's it's because fifty six would have just looked overbearing on that cake. Oh, oh. Wow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Yay! Now give me cake. Oh, it's day two of Teachers College, and it was only an hour and a half long of them telling us not to abuse children. Now. I have to go home and do all my readings and I go work from 3.15 to 8.15 and then we go to bed and then we wake up again to go to school at 8 a.m. I love university except it's not university, it's college. Yay. It's now Wednesday night. I just realized like I have not updated you all day other than when I was coming home from school so I figured I would do it really quickly before I go to bed. It's like 10.15 right now. I just got back from going out to coffee with John. If you guys watched one of my previous reading vlogs, y'all know about John. He was my best friend when I was in high school. We tried dating, did not work out. He hated me for four years. I convinced him to go to coffee with me, went to coffee with me, had a great time, went to coffee with me again, decided that he couldn't be friends with me because he's still in love with me. Decided again, apparently, that he wants to still be friends with me. So he invited me to coffee again tonight. We went, it was a good time. He didn't tell me that he couldn't be my friend this time around so I mean I guess it went well who really knows what he'll say next time he invites me to coffee because he's very up and down it's fine I'm fine we're still a little bitter about it but I figured I would update you guys he just texted me <laughs> you see you see people makes no sense to me but I thought I would update you guys on my reading since I haven't since Monday for Caraval I am on page 100 and 66. I'm really liking it. It's really addictive. I really want to know more about Caraval and I want to know how 
Tell is gonna be saved, if Scarlet's gonna like do it, if Julian is bad or not, who the heck is Dante? Is he bad or is he good? We don't know. I'm just like fully invested in the story, but I haven't really read it at all because I read textbooks all night tonight and went to work and then went to coffee with John. So that's my update for my reading. It has not been a lot this week, but hopefully tomorrow I have class from 8 to 11, 11 to 2, and then after 2 o'clock I have to read one more chapter of my textbook and then I'm done, except for one more article after that, and then <laughs> I'm done for real. And then hopefully we're just gonna read. I might end up just sleeping honestly because I'm exhausted it's only day two and I'm so tired but I need to go to bed because I have to be up at 6 45 for tomorrow's class <laughs> love college it's so bright oh it stopped being bright hello it is Thursday oh it's bright again it's Thursday we're going to school yet again it's 7 24 in the morning I have a class at 8 and then a class at 11 till 2 and then I get to go home and sleep my life away. What are you doing today? Oh, I'm gonna drive you to school, I'm gonna drive Curtis to work, and then I'm gonna make some muffins, probably take a nap, and then pick you up from school, and then pick Curtis up from work. Interesting life. Then make it, wow. <laughs> it's now Thursday at like 4.40 p.m. I got back from school at two. I had my language class in the morning, which I thought was gonna be like my favorite class because hello, language reading, love that for me. But um, it's probably gonna be my most hated class. We got put into groups today and the groups are who we have to work with for our group project every single week and so I was like yo should we like exchange contact information so we can talk about like who's doing what for the group project and all that and they like literally looked at me like I was dumb and they were like um no and I was like okay great love that for us so I don't know any Thing about any of them. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing for this group project that is due next week, so I'm having a great time loving it. And then I had my digital learners class in the afternoon. Basically digital learners is learning to teach with the digital age, so like computers and like all that jazz, you know, iPads, devices, whatever. But the Wi-Fi in our campus didn't work for half the class and it was basically them trying to teach us how to make a blog because we have to make a blog for like three of our classes, and like update it weekly, but the Wi-Fi wasn't working so, you know, you can't really make a blog when your Wi-Fi isn't working. So it was more us just like freaking out that our Wi-Fi wasn't working. So that was a grand old time. But I have a reading update kind of. We have to read a book for language class and write like a response about it. And the book that I chose was Big Turtle by David McLemmons. Basically we had to read the book and then say why the book was important, what the lesson was, what lesson you could teach children with it, and what grade you would use to teach and like all that fun jazz. And basically the whole book was all about how the world was split into two. There was the sky world where the humans lived and the water world where the animals lived and then a human from sky world fell. Her name is Sky Girl. She fell from the sky landed on a swan and then the swans brought her to Big Turtle who's like big and wise and everybody loves him because he knows all what to do. And so they were like, yo, she can't live in the water. What do we do? And he was like, yo, there's soil under the water. So you should go dive under the water and bring the soil up and put it on my back and we'll create an island for her so she can live between the water and the sky. All the animals ended up fighting about who could dive the deepest to get the soil and then the frog was like, yo, I'm better than all of you. I'm gonna dive down and get this. She dove down and then she died because she held her breath for too long. So she sacrificed herself to make the island. And then basically everybody is happy because Sky Girl's living on the island and her descendants are the first people on earth and everybody loves the frog. And to this day, the frog is sacred. We had to say like why it was important. So I basically just talked about how the native people respect the earth and nature and they have a strong relationship with it and it's important to live harmoniously with nature and also like you could use it to teach younger kids about like respect and cooperation and teamwork and all that jazz you know so I have to write a report on that I started it and then didn't finish it but then I had to write another report all about myself. So I spent the last hour creating this thing because apparently it has to be like an infograph about you with your picture 
and like all this information because she asked us like a bunch of questions about ourselves and you had to answer them. And now I'm probably going to do more assignments because there's like a thousand things to do. I'll show you my agenda because I wrote down everything that I need to do in the next week preparing for classes and it is actually ridiculous how much stuff there is for the first week of class. I already did like a big chunk of it which is lucky because like <laughs> It's a lot. So this is all the stuff that I have to get done for the first week of class. So I already read like four of the chapters that I have to read for the class that I have on Tuesday. I have one more to go and then I'm done for that class. I also have to do this like teacher candidate background, which I actually like pretty much completed. That's like this thing. It's for my spec ed class and we have to ask questions about like what we want addressed and then we have to like talk about our background in teaching. And then I have to sign up for all these things. I did the indigenous book thing kind of almost. I just have to like polish it. And then these are the videos I have to film still. I already did the take the picture, which is actually that picture, which is from 2017, but that's okay. I look the exact same. Finish my math reading, finish that thing, which is the I wish my teacher knew about me shit. And then this is also what I have to do by next class, but I ran out of room here. So, you know, we added it to the next week, even though it's supposed to be done before. It's fine. I'm fine. There's too much shit to do. So like I said at the beginning of this vlog on like Monday or Tuesday, not a lot of reading for pleasure is being done because I'm too busy reading this damn textbook. I have one more chapter left, like I said, and then I'm done for the week, but then there's stuff for the next week. So really it's a never ending cycle of pain and misery. So love that for me. For the week. So now we're vlogging for the week. Wow. Love that. <laughs> Tis now Friday at 2.56, so 3 o'clock. I just finished filming a video. It's just a haul video. I've had books on my floor that I've been meaning to haul for like a month now, so I was like, I need to get them out of my sight and put them on the shelf. So that's what I just did, put them away. I still have like boxes there, there. And then under all those clothes from Book Outlet when I went to the box sale with my mom the other week that I need to haul and put away as well. But I just don't have the motivation to do that right now. I have spent most of the morning just like lying in bed trying not to do my schoolwork because I feel really guilty not doing it. But I'm tired. It's only day four of teacher's college. But yesterday I literally just spent like the entire afternoon doing homework. So your girl needs some time off to do other things. So I need to clean my room. That's like the priority. Is that gonna get done? Probably not. I'm probably just gonna lie down and not move. I read a little bit more of Caraval this morning as well, so that's good. At least we did a little bit of reading in this reading vlog that was not a textbook. But I'm on page 213 now and still really loving it, still think it's like super addictive and want to know more about it. I just don't have time. But today, like I said, no schoolwork is being done. I did kind of cheat and do a part of an assignment because I noticed that I did something wrong on it so I had to like quickly redo it. I didn't have to do that today but I did it anyways but no reading textbooks will be done today. That's the rule. So I think I'm going to listen to Caraval and clean my room at the same time so that I'm moving and not just like lying here doing nothing. Actually, I didn't mention this on Tuesday when I had my other tryout, but I'm coaching an under 19 year old girls basketball team this year with my dad and we had tryouts on Tuesday. We also have a tryout tonight that I have to go to. So that's at seven. So I have plenty of time to do everything in between. But yeah, so those are my plans for tonight. Read, basketball, not do schoolwork. So I just finished Carval and five out of five stars. I went on a roller coaster of emotions and I don't know how to feel, but all I know is that like I need legendary and finale like now. What did you just finish? Horrible. What are your thoughts on the book? Well, I told you I really liked it. I liked how descriptive it was that I could picture exactly what 
everything looked like and lots of twists and and things you didn't expect my brain and my heart are why your heart i don't understand because oh. daddy are you gonna read this book am i reading it because it's really good you don't want to read it i already read it i just you finished not, it you would not enjoy it daddy so would, say no no you should read it what's the payoff for you <laughs> Uh, a broken heart and a confused mind. Why did it mind? break your oh, did heart? You, uh, did it emotionally scar you? Yes. I don't see that because it shouldn't be upsetting. It should be happy for you. No, because legend gonna fuck with them and I'm not oh, okay. Maybe. <laughs> then don't read the next one. Then I I'll... have to. Buy it for me. I'll send you my Amazon wish list. <laughs> no, because it's waiting at the library for me. Mm. It's now Saturday. At 8 o'clock in the morning, I have to go to work from 8.45 to 4.15 and then I have the rest of the day off to do whatever I want except I have to be back at work at 6.45 in the morning. So I'm just probably gonna chill, hopefully. Ricardo wants to hang out. He's done work at 6, which means he's not gonna be ready until like 7.30. So I'm gonna be in bed by like 10 o'clock because your girl gotta get up way too early. We're gonna go to work. I brought my school work, so we're hopefully gonna get a shit ton of that done today. And then tomorrow's the like big autumn stroll event, which is basically just a bunch of adults who get drunk at our rec center and ride on hay bales. No actual reading has been done since I finished Carval because I'm still an emotional mess. I seriously don't know how I feel still. Like that book ruined me. I need Legendary and Finale. Like that's, that's all I have to say. Um, I brought Wilder Girls with me, but I don't think I'll pick it up because I'm gonna be reading my textbook the whole time. But I am off to work now. Talk to you probably after work, if not tomorrow morning. Who knows with me. <laughs> Cardo's a fatty. <laughs> no, I don't like celery. I don't like celery. I want your carrots. No, my carrots. If you love me, you give me the carrots. Yeah, but I need something to cool down the spice. Wow. I just said if you love me, you give me the carrots, and you said no. I'm just trying to pressure on me. Cardo is going to teach you all how to eat wings. You twist. Ow, it's hot. <laughs> you twist. You pull out the small bone. You grab the big bone. Great job eating. <laughs> It is too early o'clock. <laughs> it's now Sunday around 4.15ish. I got home from work at 3.30ish, ate some burritos. They were really good. Thanks dad for making them. And then I filmed my most anticipated releases for September 2019. So that'll be up on my channel probably next week whenever I get around to editing it. I hated work today. It was a lot and there was this big event like I talked about in the last clip it's called the autumn stroll it's a bunch of drunk adults riding on a hay barrel thing okay so I got there at 6 40 when I was supposed to get there actually five minutes later but the people who were running the event were like pissed at me and they were like um you were supposed to be here at 5 30 and I was like uh, my schedule says 6.45, so I wasn't told any different to the schedule, wasn't told about any changes, so I came when I was supposed to come, and they were like, well, we called on-call hours, and they said that somebody would be here at 5.30, and I was like, I didn't get a call, so wasn't me, I'm sorry, but I'm here now, you can start setting up. And, like, I was just not in the mood, because, like, it's 6.45 in the morning, and you're bitching at me that I wasn't here earlier, and I'm already coming in to a shift early, because technically I start at 8.45 on weekends, so... I'm gonna need you to shush your mouth and then they made me take out garbage and mop their floor because apparently it was dirty and we have strict rules not to go into their room because it's their room and therefore we don't take out their garbage and we don't mop their floors because like it's their responsibility so I had to do that for them because it's just easier to do things than fight with them but I guess I'll update you on my reading I started Water for Elephants yesterday it's by Sarah Gruen and I'm about 50 pages in 
I lied, I'm 65 pages in. And so far I'm actually really enjoying it. I like the main character, Jacob. He seems really chill. It's kind of cool though because most of the story takes place when he's 23, so it's like a flashback from when he joined the circus, but then there's also parts of the story told when he's 93, which is kind of cool because he's like in this old age home and like recalling all the events. I know that it's like a love story. They haven't introduced the love interest yet, so I'm looking forward to that. Right now he's just like basically finding his place in the circus and like what act he's gonna be allowed to be on so I am liking it so far but my plans for the night are to edit this vlog and then probably read a bit of this I think Ricardo's coming over but I don't know but I'm gonna end the vlog now so that I can edit it to have it up by Wednesday so thank you for joining me for this <laughs> week of reading which wasn't really reading was just me complaining about school maybe there'll be one next week i don't know we'll see if if it's uploaded it's uploaded if not it's not but i'll see you in my next video goodbye <laughs>